Okay, so today we're going to finish up with some practice problems dealing with the last two secant and cosecant. Um, we'll start with number one, y equals one half secant theta. All right, basically, since there's no variable, coefficient of the variable, in this case theta, our period goes back to being 2, at two pi. We don't have to divide by a, by a coefficient. All right. Domain range, we'll go through all that in a second. All right, but basically what we're going to do, all right, there's two pi, there's four pi. All right, and we're gonna go back to what secant is the inverse of, which is cosine. All right, now the one half, okay, the one half, Darker okay. So basically, with the amplitude being one half of the original cosine, we're going to start with one half and negative one half. Now remember, cosine starts at the max, ends at the max. Halfway would be at its minimum. All right, halfway to 2 pi is pi. All right, halfway to pi would be our old friend pi over 2. And halfway between pi and 2 pi is 3 pi over 2. All right, so basically those quarter points come our zeros. All right, and there's our cosine graph, the first cycle. All right, then at 4 pi is when the second cycle will end. So it repeats itself. Okay. Realize that all the zeros is where our asymptotes are. All right. So we got that going on. We got that going on. We got that going on. You only have to label them in the first cycle. All right. And then everywhere else where there's a maximum or a minimum, we're going to draw our parabola. So there is the one at pi. All right, there is the one at two pi. There's the next one. And then there's four pi. All right, so that's all we're looking for. All right, now, when we start talking about domain, range, asymptotes. All right, the domain, x not equal to. The asymptotes, x equal to. All right. Now, all you need to do is find any of your asymptotes. It can be pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, whatever you want to do. doesn't necessarily have to be your first one. So pi over 2 plus minus n. All right. And then you always, half the, pi, half the period, pi, is what you add to it. Because there's two for every period. And then for asymptotes, it's just the same exact thing, but with an equal sign. Now remember your range. Okay, your range goes from negative infinity because it goes without bound, and then positive infinity over there. All right? And then basically you're looking at what the maxes and mins would be. The min in the original was negative one half, so that's that. The maximum in the original is one half. So your range is negative infinity to negative one half, and then one half to infinity. All right, now the next one, y equals two secant theta. Okay, y equals two secant theta. So we've changed the amplitude of the original, y equals 2 secant theta. All right, again, it's cosine. So 2, negative 2, all right? 2 pi, 4 pi, all right, because the period's still 2 pi, 
All right, halfway to two pi like it was in the last one was pi, pi over two, three pi over two. Maximum, maximum, minimum zeros. All right, asymptote. All right, that's the halfway point. That's a quarter point, that's a quarter point asymptote. So if you want to try to draw it without the original, I wouldn't recommend it, but there you go. So at a maximum, again, we're going to have a parabola going up. At a minimum, going down. Maximum going up. All right. Minimum going down. Maximum going up. So they alternate. All right, your period is still 2 pi, your domain, x not equal to, we're going to stick with pi over 2 since the period hasn't changed, plus minus n pi, the asymptotes, x equal to pi over 2, plus minus n pi, the range, that's what's going to change with this one, negative infinity stays, but instead of 1 half, we're going to negative 2. The letter U representing OR with set builder notation. And then the positive, which is 2, comma, infinity. And there you go. All right. Now we'll do a couple cosecant ones. Actually, one cosecant one and the secant one. All right. So y equals cosecant of 2 theta. All right, now we do have a coefficient. So the period instead of 2 pi is now pi. Okay? Remember, cosecant is the inverse of sine. All right, so here is my pi, there is my 2 pi. All right, sine starts at zero, midway, which is pi over two now because of the change in period is also zero, endpoint pi. Halfway zero, endpoint zero. That's going to be where all of our asymptotes are. Maximum, which is now at pi over four, goes there. Minimum at three pi over four because of the change in period goes here. There's no coefficient, so that means our amplitude is one means we're going to go to 1 and negative 1. All right. Separate that. That's our 0. That's our next max. 3 quarters point is our min. There's our dashed line representing the original. All right. All right. Sign, if it starts at 0, is going to have an asymptote at the y-axis. There's our dashed lines. All right, and then we're going to have pi over 4 max, 3 pi over 4 min, pi over 4 max, x1 min. All right, and then there you go. We already did the period is pi, domain, range, asymptotes, domain, x not equal to, asymptotes, x equal to. First one that I see, you can start with zero or you can go with pi over two, plus minus. Now, because the period is pi, remember to divide that by two, so it's n pi over two. And then for the asymptote, pi over two, plus minus n pi over two with the equal sign. The range, there you go, there's our model of consistency, negative infinity or positive infinity at the end, both of which with parentheses. And all you're going to do if there's no vertical shifts is plug in your values of your min and your max of the original, so negative 1 and 1. All right. Y equals secant of theta over 3. Y equals secant of theta over 3. So now you have to remember when it's a fraction, all right, when it's a fraction, all 
와이고 y equals secant theta over 3. All right. Our period is going to be 2 pi divided by 1 third, which makes it 6 pi. It's a pretty big period. So when I draw it in, okay, there's my 6 pi. There's my 12 pi. We go back to secant, which is cosine. There's no coefficient, so the amplitude of the cosine is 1, negative 1. Halfway to 6 pi would be 3 pi. Halfway to 3 pi would be 3 pi over 2. Halfway between 3 pi and 6 pi is 9 pi over 2. All right, so we're going to start at the max, end at the max. All right, halfway through is the min. Zeros give us our asymptotes at the quarter points. All right, you don't have to label these, but sketch it out. Halfway is that. Draw in your asymptotes there. Draw in your asymptote there. All right, each minimum is a parabola going down. Each maximum is a parabola going up. You got the gist of your graph. All right. So the second video will go over problems four, five, and six. Hopefully all this helps.